Five young men who played to mostly younger female audiences at the Kingdome tonight. Hardly the place to send a gray-haired reporter, but Chris Lagaris was there just the same. Kids crammed into the Kingdome to see new kids on the block. Mostly preteen girls wearing new kids' t-shirts, badges, even earrings. Where you got posters, bookmarks, keychains, buttons, um, stickers, everything. And are you going to cherish this for like the rest of your life? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. 12-year-old Dana Bradshaw flew in from Dallas for the concert. What's so great about new kids on the block? Well, they're clean cut and they don't do drugs, and I like that. But we asked around and found the real reason for the new kids' success. They're cute. <laughs> they're cute. They're cute. They're <laughs> cute. numbered 45,000 in the dome, more than twice the number of people you'd find at any Mariner baseball game. You had to wonder, what if? What if the Mariners were just a little cuter and could sing? Chris Lagaris, Cairo News. Trying so crazy that they actually had to hand out earplugs to the media because it was so loud. I'll bet. Girls I'll screaming bet. and screaming. It's just hard to believe how much excitement this group generates. Tens of thousands of screaming young girls have been suffering many a sleepless night waiting for this mega event to hit Seattle. Some have been waiting a very long time. About two years. And each has their favorite new kid. Jill. I like Donnie. Because I want to see Jordan because he's the best. John. I love you, Joe! I love Jordan Knight! Donnie. But there was another group of kids even more excited about this concert. These children are all seriously ill. For most, their biggest wish is to meet a new kid. How are you? New kid Jonathan Knight is granting their wish and is spending a few precious moments with these special fans. <laughs> Meanwhile, chaos reigns in the kingdom. The energy is incredible. This crowd is so pumped up, they may have to be scraped off the ceiling. One thing, though, this is probably the most squeaky clean concert ever. The new kids on the block stress anti-drugs and anti-alcohol, and it appears their message has been received. Yeah. It's the best role model the team could ever have. Yeah. I like about the new kids is they're drug-free, and I don't know, they're pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they're drug-free, alcohol-free, and all that stuff. And uh, they have a totally positive attitude and they're a good influence. They're positive about everything. This group even has the parents' seal of approval. I think they're a very clean-cut group of good boys, and I appreciate that. You know, there may be a touch of titillation here and there, but for the most part, it's as bubblegum as can be. Even so, the crowd is leaving happy, and the happiest of all are the special kids that had their wish come true. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Those seriously ill children were brought to the concert by the Ronald McDonald House of Seattle, and one of the other kids was from that area. 